Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So I'm here with my New York City haul. So I recently got back from New York. I had went there with my family to visit my brother and his girlfriend. We spent about a week there and yeah, it was a really fun time. And I did do a little bit of shopping or I guess so, I don't know, not a ton of shopping, but enough for a haul um, of shopping. Um, I really like shopping when I'm on vacation. It's really fun to like check out different stores and get certain things that you can't get like where you live. Um, and to be honest, I just like shopping. So, you know, it was fun. So I'll share everything I got with you. I did want to mention, and I've mentioned this before, but I recently got an Instagram account. It's my same username as my YouTube channel. It's set out running 23. I will link it down below. But I definitely want to use it more often, but I did post some pictures from when I was in New York. So if you're interested, um, you can check that out for some more pictures. But I'll get into the haul. So one thing I really wanted to do while I was in New York is go to Brooklyn. I've been to New York a few times, but I've never been to Brooklyn. And I thought it would just be a fun place to check out. You know, not do a ton, but, you know, we had, like, lunch there. We had some really great pizza, um, got some really yummy ice cream, and went checked out a few of the stores. Um, so one of the stores I really wanted to check out, because I was looking online, trying to find, like, what areas I wanted to go in, you know, what streets I wanted to check out, and I found this really cute store called Catbird, and it's just a little teeny store. It has a lot of jewelry, which I really didn't check out. I just kind of wanted, I don't want to spend that much, actually, <laughs> but they had some candles, and I know I'm on a candle no-buy, but... I did break my candle now, but I did end up getting a candle there, but I don't know. I know that I'm on a candle no buy with my like project wax that I'm doing, but this candle is just so unique and it kind of, it felt kind of silly to not buy a candle just because I'm on a no buy, especially when it's something that I can only get when I'm in New York. Um, it's like a candle specific to their store. Um, I mean, I guess I could have ordered it online, but it just seemed kind of silly not to get it. But this one is called Campfire, and the scent is just so interesting. It's wood smoke, saddle letter, saddle, saddle letter, leather, and honey. And I don't know, it's like a woody, like leather is like perfect scent description for it. And it's a soy candle, and it's just like their cap bird brand sort of candle. It's just a travel candle. Um, I'm really excited about this. So that's super cute. And then they also had sleep masks. And I always use a sleep mask when I'm sleeping at night. <laughs> Obviously, when else would I use it? But they had these really soft and pretty ones. And I got one of those as well. And this is the one I picked up. It's like a blue and a pink it kind of actually, I didn't even think about it, but it kind of does match my pillows and my bedding, so it's kind of perfect. But I picked that up as well. And it came in like a super cute little box. I mean, it was the cutest little store. So I got those two items in Brooklyn. And then on that same day, we were actually staying in the West Village. And there's lots of like little tea shops around there. So we actually, my mom also loves tea. So we stopped in a few tea shops. And I think we didn't really think it through because we got like a lot of tea at the first place. And then we went to the next tea shop. So we were just like buying tea all the places. And by the end of it, you're like, oh my gosh, that was like a ton of stuff that we bought. But the first place we went was Sullivan Street Tea and Spice Company. And this is in Sullivan Street... I believe it's Sullivan Street's in Greenwich Village. I'm pretty sure I'm um, in New York. Um, and it was really close to like Washington Square Park. But this is the cutest little tea shop. They have spices and tea as well. And you can order online. They do a lot of different loose leaf teas. But these were nice uh, for some of their um, like varieties they have these packages and they're like pre-packaged um like tea bags 
Um, I think you get like 24 in here. So it's actually pretty nice because then you don't have to like, if you're in a hurry or you don't want to mess with like loose leaf tea, it, this was a really nice option. So I got the Japanese Blanca, which I've had this before. It's a really nice kind of earthy green tea. And I also got the Sunrise Ceylon, which I haven't tried before, but I love trying out different um, black teas. So I'm really excited about both of these. And then I was smelling all of their other teas, and I really, really loved, um, they had a white melon. So I got, um, this is just loose leaf tea, I got that one as well. Um, this is like three ounces of that. So that was the first tea store I went to. And then we stopped by David's Tea, which that is a chain. Um, I'm not sure where all they have them. I know they have them in like San Francisco. I've only been to the store in New York. Um, and this was in, it was on like Bleecker Street, so in the West Village. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think. But this, they had a lavender tea. And I love lavender teas. I love having lavender tea at night. Um, this is the Organic Serenity Now tea. And it just came in a little pre-packaged um, thing. So this is a loose leaf, but it has like currants, rose hips, lavender, spearmint, blueberries, um, a ton of other things. I just thought it smelled really good, and I love lavender tea. I haven't tried this out yet, but I'm really excited to try it. Um, and I always love like herbal teas. They're really great for like evening time. So I was super excited about this. And then also from David's Tea, so they have a lot of like different teas you can smell. They have a lot of very like fruity sort of teas. So I picked up this one, and this is the black tea. I actually drank this this morning, and I really, really liked it. But this is the Earl's Garden. So it's like an Earl Grey tea, um, but it has strawberry, raspberry, and black currants. And this was so nice, like such a great, like fruity but black tea. I think this would really be great, like as an iced tea. I think it would work very well. But this I really, really loved. Um, and I had this today. So I picked that up from David's Tea. And then we also stopped by McNulty's, which I guess has been around since. Um, maybe like the 1800s or 1900s. It's been open for like a very, very long time. But from there, they had loose leaf teas and then they also sold um, other like brands of tea. But from them, I got the peach flavored green tea and this smelled really great. And I really love the Tazo peachy green tea. So I thought this would be really great to try out. I haven't tried this one out either. But I got that one, so excited to try that out. And then I also, from McNulty's, I got a Mighty Leaf Tea. This is their or the Orange Dulce, which I have tried, um, went through a few boxes of this before. And I really, really loved it, so I was really excited to see that they were selling this. So that's all the tea I got. A ton of stuff, but I'm really excited. And I have been using up a lot of teas lately, so I'm excited to have more um and definitely some of these are very specific like things I can't get um in California unless I were to like order them online but really excited about that and then we went one day we went to the Guggenheim and it was a really like interesting museum definitely a very like manageable museum because it's not that big and you definitely like um it's like a rotunda shape so you walk around like the outside in like a circular pattern um but after we were done looking at everything at the museum we went into the gift store and my mom and I love like museum gift stores we like shopping in general but um, I got some magnets I really like getting magnets from different cities I think it's a fun kind of memento and they had these like New Yorker Guggenheim magnets so one of like the museum like a cartoon drawing of the museum and then one of this is also a drawing of like the outside. So I thought this were a fun way to kind of commemorate going to New York and also going to the Guggenheim. And then I saw this book at the museum gift shop and it's called Hello um, NY, an illustrated love letter to the five boroughs by Julie, Julia Rothman. And I thought it just looked so cute. So it's 
about different parts of New York. It's just she has drawings and talks about different parts of New York. Um, and like here's some pictures of the buildings, and it just talks about different areas of New York and different places. And I don't know. I thought it was like a really cute book. I love books like these with like illustrations, and specifically it's about New York. So I thought that this was just really cute. So I picked that up. And then, I think it was on, like, our last, or the day, like, our last full day there, um, I wanted to do some shopping. And usually when I do, like, shopping, I end up at the same stores that I would normally shop at if I were at home. But it's just something fun about shopping when you're on vacation. So I picked some things up. Um, I stopped at H&M, tried some stuff on. Ended up with one thing, so I tried on a few different dresses, and I thought this one was really cute. It's a little black dress. Um, let's see if I can show it very well. But it has like kind of longer, um, like sleeves, so I thought this would be great, like for a variety of different seasons. Great for like spring or fall, or even in the summer because it's still kind of lightweight. Um, I definitely would pair it. It's kind of short, so I'd pair it with, like, leggings, but I really love little dresses, so I thought that this would be super cute. Um, so I picked that up at H&M, and then I went to Express, and this is kind of a random thing to get when I'm on vacation, but I've been needing some more, like, work pants for work. And they were having a sale, like if you bought one pair, you got the second pair for, I think, like $39, something like that. So I got two pairs of gray pants from Express. These are both the columnist, columnist um, style. But this pair is like a gray, this is like a different sort of gray color. And then it has like the black waistband. So I got those. And recently... Or a few months ago, I got a lot of different top, new, like, tops for work, but I haven't gotten any pants. So definitely I've been needing some. So I picked those up. And then the second pair is just a more standard kind of gray pair. Um, and, again, this columnist. And these are the slim flare type but just kind of a darker sort of gray color and the other type were barely boo but I was excited to find those and then finally I was in New York during the Sephora VIB sale so I stopped by Sephora and picked up a few items the first is I'm running low on my foundation my makeup forever HD high definition foundation I'm in the color N 110 I think it's pink porcelain so I picked up another one of these I figure better to get it now when I can get it on sale um, versus waiting till I run out of my current one and then also I've been wanting a BB cream I have a few I have a little like BB cream sample that I've been using occasionally I really like using BB cream like in the summer on the weekends or just during the week like when I don't want to wear a full face of makeup or I'm like in a hurry um so I decided to pick up a BB cream I also really love BB cream for travel um so what I got was this Smashbox Ready BB cream it's in the color Fair and in this store I've been interested in the Bobbi Brown BB cream but they actually had like limited um colors in store versus what you can get online so I wasn't really sure about the color selection so I was swatching different ones and this one the fair seemed pretty um fair so or pretty light um because a lot of BB creams like it's only one shade so I liked that this had a good color selection, and I liked the color when I swatched it in store. So I decided to pick this up as well, especially as we're getting into the warmer months. So those are the only the two things I picked up Sephora, and that's actually um, the last item from the haul. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.